TV viewing audience. Say it again. Um, hello, TV viewing audience. Uh, today we are talking a little bit about the platform bed that we're building in the back of the Element. Uh, we have a 2003 Honda Element uh, in silver. <laughs> uh, that we are building a platform bed to go in the back of and it's basically just a little square of wood with a frame underneath and we're using galvanized iron bars um, 10 inch bars with uh, one inch one inch diameter pipes and we're these are called flanges these things on the bottom and top and we're just using them like feet these aren't going to be screwed they're not going to be attached to the floor but these are attached to the um, to the platform. Uh, Dory, quit that. And uh, these are one by sixes here, and the platform is just uh, I believe we used half inch plywood that mm -hmm. we happen to have in the house. Some of the others that I've looked at, um, they use three quarter inch, which we might end up going to before it's all said and done. But this is just a prototype. This is more just a uh, yeah, just a prototype to see if we can even be done. Um, basically what we did was we just measured the element, took the seats out in the back because we only need really room for two people. So we just need the two front seats, took the back seats out to make as much room as possible and um, then measured the narrowest part across and then back to front. The way we're doing ours um, is it's only going to be three quarters of the space in the back with a little bit of open space left between the back of the front seats and the, um, the edge of the platform to make it easier to access, um, to put things there for storage and to also um, make it easier to get things out of the bins underneath without having to go outside the car and open the trunk and get it out that way. Because uh, we're going to have some long, long storage bins that slide under the, under the bunk here. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we may end up having shallow storage bins, but they'll do the trick. Uh, and then we've got some, just some foam egg crate to go on the top, uh, two of those and uh, sleeping bag, so hopefully that'll be cushy enough that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be camping, but it'll be, you know, not sleeping on rocks, so that's good. Uh, and some storage, storage underneath, but this is upside down right now, of course, these, these little feet actually go on the bottom, and uh, the platform is what, what you'll see on the top, and we'll get some pictures of that inside the car once we get it fixed. We had a little trial run and had a little, um, a blowout of my front board up there so we're gonna <laughs> reinforce that screw everything back together a little bit tighter uh, with a few more fasteners and mm -hmm. see what we can do about uh, getting it to stay together in a more permanent fashion all right that's it for now hi folks okay we're in the car now we have put the platform together and now we have placed it in the car uh, as you can see the way we've got it set up right now is um, we're going to sleep head down on this end and uh, body this way, feet feet down here at the end. We're using the seats themselves as part of the bed and um, we, we brought out some extra pillows to try to use down here um, as extra cushioning to, just to make it so it's a little less of a drop off down here at the bottom. Um, we probably won't do any extra platform here, but we might depending on how it sleeps in the long run. Um, we may end up uh, there's another method that some folks had used where they had taken these seats, popped them all the way up, pushed them forwards, and um, had made extra platform here level with everything else. We'll see how that goes down. Um, but here's what we've got so far. I don't know if you can get the camera down here underneath and get a look at our temporary and thoroughly awkward anchoring system right now. We used tie downs, motorcycle tie downs, to go from caddy corner bed to the latch system down the other corner and vice versa. So you can see I've got 300 latches, just a bunch of straps hanging around right now. That's a temporary measure. We're probably going to get some turnbuckle screws and some, um, some S things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but they're shaped like little metal S's. And uh, we'll probably use those in the corners in future rather than this awkward, awkward thing that we've got going on now. But, ooh, extreme close up. But, um, so that's what we're doing in the car. So it's pretty exciting. You know, we're hey, doing some. We'll show you what it looks like when we get the, the bed made. But yeah, so that's going to be 
the foamy egg crate things that we talked about before. And then we've got sleeping bags down there. And I think we're probably going to use a sheet to kind of help hold the egg crates down. And hopefully Medusa won't scratch her way through that the very first night. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. And here's Tommy and her new dikey haircut. Isn't it cute? Oh. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Thanks.